It's transfers like Virgil van Dijk's that make you wonder when this bubble is going to burst. 75 million pounds for a man who thinks he's too good to have a second name on the back of his jersey. But anyway, let's get away from the crazy fees for a minute and take a look at a starting 11 of players you could sign for free today if you so wished. Ross Turnbull. Is it any wonder that Ross Turnbull is currently sitting in his arse twitching his thumbs considering he basically built a career out of doing just that? Not many players managed to last four years at Chelsea. I'm guessing he did so by hiding under the stairs whenever the transfer window came around. The man has played less than 70 league games in the last decade, so it's no surprise at the age of 32, he's searching for work, having been dumped by Leeds at the back end of last season. If anyone needs a goalkeeper to sit on the bench for a few seasons, you'd know where to find him. Bakri Sanya. It does seem strange that it's been over six months since Bakri Sanya left Man City following the expiration of his contract, and he's still unemployed. Pep Guardiola forced a shake of a fullbacks last summer, and the likes of Zabaleta, Klichy, and Kolarov were all quick to find suitors, but nobody seems to want to have anything to do with a 34 year old former French international. Sebastian Bassan. Believe it or not, there was a time when Sebastian Bassan was a highly rated young defender in England, emerging from his debut season at Newcastle was credit largely intact, despite telling everyone he was off about six weeks before the relegation was confirmed. Well it's nine years later and at his court hearing where he was banned for speeding, in a car obviously, the man would probably lose in a race against a one-legged pensioner these days, he told the court he was currently living off savings after being released by Norwich City. Any takers lads? I mean he's only been relegated five times. Stephen Cocker. Stephen Cocker has been through the ringer in recent years. Just a little over five years ago he was scoring on his England debut, he'd scored the winner in a Welsh derby and some Spurs fans were wondering why he was being let go. Since then Cocker has struggled with personal issues, been relegated twice, oh and he also conceded 6 against Liverpool a few weeks before he was inexplicably signed by the Reds and choked up front. The former QPR centre half has battled his demons and sadly has had to call time on his spell in London at the age of 26. Hopefully he'll find another club and get what was once a promising career back on track. Patrice Evra. Patrice Evra would still be playing for Marseille right now at the age of 36 if he didn't decide to channel his inner air Cantona and choose to confuse a supporter's head with a football. He's been banned for playing until June 2018 but unlike his mate Luis Suarez, he's been on unable to force through a move during his time off. Marseille were quick to fire him, but Evra has no plans to give up, chucking out videos of himself towing jeeps in a bit to speed up the interest. Hasn't quite done the job yet. Matthew Flamini. Alright, I didn't say this was a good list. Maybe there's a reason these lads are unemployed. This isn't the first time Matthew Flamini has been a free agent. Ten years ago he ran down his contract at Arsenal, they never learn do they, before he walked straight to the current champions of Europe. He became one again in 2016, but still found work at Crystal Palace. It's January 2018 and the 33 year old is discovering that his popularity is very much a thing of the past. Stuck on trial at Getafe in the hopes of winning a contract. Lasana Diarra. Lasana Diarra loves the transfer, doesn't he? The man is 32 years old and has already played for nine different clubs. Try how many people can say they played with both Cristiano Ronaldo and Linvoy Primus. Well, he's a free agent again after being released by Al Jazeera last month, and yet he's still being linked with the likes of PSG and Manchester United. This man's agent is almost as good as Fabio Barini's. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Ten years ago, if Bastian Schweinsteiger was a free agent for even five minutes, he'd be swarmed by all of Europe's top clubs, like a woman who enters a sweaty nightclub without her wedding ring. The Germans contract has just expired with Chicago Fire and he seemingly had enough of playing against lads who just picked up the sport when David Beckham turned up about 10 years ago. Sadly his stock has tumbled somewhat since becoming exiled in Manchester, but the 33 year old does have some offers on the table from the Bundesliga. It's only three and a half years ago he won the World Cup, let's not forget. Marko Vucinic. I'm confused as to why Marko Vucinic doesn't have a job considering how well he was doing up until very recently. The Montenegrin hitman helped Juventus to three consecutive Serie A titles before becoming the Al Jazeera Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been without a club since leaving them last year though. And yes, 2017 was officially last year. Jose Antonio Reyes. Arsenal fans will remember Jose Antonio Reyes, the man who might as well have played every Arsenal game with a Real Madrid wristband and I hate English weather tattooed across his forehead. The want away Spaniard had a much happier life in Spain, taking in spells with Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla and Espanyol, winning a record 5 Europa Leagues along the way, which is some stat. At the age of 34 he's unemployed now, I bet he wouldn't say no to braving it in the cold of England nowadays. Aloisio. I will spare the Liverpool fans the memory of David and Gog, so I won't put him in here. Instead, we'll turn to a name not many will be familiar with, but over in China, he's a superstar. Then again, so is Papi Cisse, so what does that tell you? Aloisio is a Brazilian striker and top scored with Shandong Nuneng with 22 goals in 28 games, and scored another 20 for Hebei China Fortune last season. He's without a club since leaving them on Monday. Any takers? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.